Hey, this is Michael from Studio One Expert. In this video, I'll show you one of my favorite new features in Studio One version 3. That feature is thumbnails. All of the included plugins already have a thumbnail. I want to show you how I like to use thumbnails for third party plugins to improve my workflow. I've started using VSTs instead of AUs, with only a few exceptions. And when VST3 versions are available, I stick with VST3 instead of VST2. My machine seems a little more stable if I stick with VST. You may already know how to create thumbnails for third party plugins. If not, this is how Open the plugin on a track, click this little tab, and click Update Plugin Thumbnail. It's that easy. Now you should have a plugin thumbnail for that version of the plugin in the list. Some manufacturers' VST versions and AU versions are in separate folders like UAD. So since I'm using only VST, if I open the AU folder, I see no thumbnails. So I know this is not the folder of plugins I want to use. If I open the VST folder, I see thumbnails, so I know I'm in the correct folder. Universal Audio installs every plugin they make when you install their software. I don't own every plugin they make, so I make a thumbnail of the stereo version of the plugins I own. If I need the mono version, it's listed right below the stereo version. Fortunately, Universal Audio have released one update since I set up my thumbnails, and the update did not affect any of them. Some plugins list the audio unit and VST versions of the plugin in the same folder. For example, Slate Digital. So I create a thumbnail of the VST3 version of the plugin. I keep all the plugin folders closed when I'm not inserting a plugin, so I can quickly see the manufacturer's folder, open the folder, and see the VST stereo version of every plugin I own. If I need the mono version, it's listed right below the stereo version. This method works great for me. I considered making only thumbnails of my go-to plugins or favorites, but I find I'm really quick with this method, and whenever I start using favorites, I forget about other plugins I have, and it keeps me from trying different plugins I may not typically use. Recently, I had to do some work in a different DAW, and my eyes and brain missed my thumbnail configuration. I found myself locating the plugins I wanted at a much slower pace and with noticeable eye strain. Thumbnails are a very simple concept, and I think sometimes the most basic new feature, such as thumbnails, can have a huge improvement on workflow. We all know we should be mixing with our ears and not our eyes, but you think of the GUI of the plugin the moment you think of that plugin. So when I go scrolling through the list of plugins and see that GUI thumbnail, I can easily quickly find what I'm looking for. For me, this really helps with eye strain. One option that could be added to take this visual aid a step further would be the option to add custom graphics to the manufacturer's folders. Because the thumbnails made the content of the folders more efficient for me, now I want the same for the folders themselves. Many of the new features in version 3 are great, but for me, I think I get the most benefit from the thumbnail feature. I have to say thanks to Personas for adding the thumbnail feature in Studio One version 3. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Now go make some thumbnails.